Hey, it's Krez. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and uninstall a temporary roofing anchor for a fall protection body harness. I'm installing this anchor so I can safely tie off while installing a solar system on my roof, but there are a number of other projects that you might want a roofing anchor for when you're working from six feet above the ground or more. Step one, remove the ridge cap shingles. These are the shingles that are located at the peak of your roof at the top of both roof planes. There's a tar seal at the edge that adheres the shingle to the next shingle when it melts. Break this seal by sliding your flat bar back and forth underneath it. Next, we need to remove the roofing nails that are holding the shingle down. Try not to tear or damage the shingles while you're removing the nails so that they can be reused at the end. Uh, that's what you don't want to do. You may need to remove a few ridge shingles to find an area with framing underneath. I got lucky and only had to remove one. Step two, install the roof anchor. Sometimes you get lucky and there is a slight gap between the sheathing at the peak and you get to see exactly where the roof framing is. You might be able to get a stud finder to work or you can drive a test nail or screw to find the roof framing. You'll be able to tell whether or not you hit the framing by how easy or hard it is to drive the nail or screw the screw. If it's too easy, you're probably only in the sheathing and if you experience resistance all the way through the drive, then you're probably in the meat of the rafter. Or you can start from inside the attic, drill a screw through right next to the rafter and then come back outside to try to find where it pokes through. A little tip for you is that if you install with nails, use duplex nails. These are the nails with two heads. This will make removing it easier once you're done with the project. Next, position the roof anchor over some framing. Those instructions, you know the ones that nobody ever reads, yeah, those things from the manufacturer that came with your body harness and or roof anchor, they are going to specify the size and quantity of nails needed for different installation applications. Some manufacturers have this printed or engraved right on the roof anchor itself, which is a pretty nice deal. The kit I have uses a specific structural screw that came with the kit. It's very important that all of your fasteners hit the roof framing and or trusses. They cannot be in the roof sheathing only. Why is this? If you fall and your fasteners are only in the sheathing, the entire anchor could tear out under the force of trying to stop a fall. And if your anchor, well, if your anchor tears out, gravity is gonna get the best of you and you still hit the ground. So. Make sure you hit all of the framing with every fastener. Gravity kills, friends. Gravity kills. Or perhaps more accurately, a rapid acceleration followed by a rapid deacceleration will kill you. Thanks, physics. Thanks. Just slid all the way down my roof there, little buddy. Ooh. Don't look too good. Once you've installed all the fasteners that you need to, go inside the attic and look to make sure that you didn't miss the framing with any of your fasteners. If you miss the rafter, you need to go back outside and redo it. Step three, you are now ready to tie off to your anchor. There is an unwritten rule that anytime a man secures a load with a ratchet strap, he must check the tension of the strap and say, that ain't going anywhere. This, my friends, is no different, so give that anchor a good test trick and declare from the mountaintops that it ain't going anywhere. There are a handful of things to consider when deciding where to place anchors and how many to install. I'll put some links to a few resources about those topics. The hook I have for my kit has a little safety feature where there's a button little thing in the back you gotta depress in order to get the front to open up to hook into anything. And this is a safety thing. Ideally what this does is it prevents your hook from accidentally coming off while you're up on the roof tied off. When you're finished with your project and you're ready to remove your anchor, here's how to do it. So we're gonna back out all of the fasteners and then we're going to remove the roof anchor. Then we reinstall our ridge cap. Before we put our ridge cap on, we are going to use a high quality roofing sealant. I'm gonna be using Henry's. Fill every single hole with roofing sealant. I'll also use my finger to press it down into the hole a little bit to make sure I get a good seal. I'm heating up my ridge cap shingle just a little bit to make it a little bit more flexible for the reinstallation since it's only about 30 degrees outside here today. Slide the shingle back into place by wiggling it back and forth, line it up with the others, and then nail it off. I'm also going to put sealant over the heads of these roofing nails for good measure. Don't damage your shingles like I did here. It's really a bit too cold out for me to be doing this, so I cracked them. And now our ridge cap is nice and secure. 
There you have it. That is how you install a temporary roofing anchor on your roof. If you want to see the solar install video where I use this guy, you can catch that here. Otherwise, here's to you. May you never let gravity get the best of you as you make things better doing whatever the heck it is you're doing up on your roof. Fits in a five gallon pail, very convenient.